Well, I got to get this tank off of here. So I uh, drained all the gas out a couple of nights ago so I could do so. But I kind of forgot that I was going to pull it in the garage. So I guess now we're going to have to push it. I also forgot that I left the back bucket on, so that's not cool. That was easy. All right, first things first, we gotta get the bolts out of this thing. You know, I, I get excited about every project, but I can't get that off there. But I've been looking forward to this one for a while. This is an idea that I had. I kind of like the patina that the tractor has. I never really thought about giving it a coat of paint. As a matter of fact, I, I kind of have always viewed it as every scratch and dent that it has is a testament to the uh history that it has but i don't know this one's gonna this is gonna look pretty cool <sighs> these ones here are always such a bugger not really to take off it's it's more when you go to put it back on it's really tough to align it but coming off good there the key to taking the hood off is extra help as you can see so i've done it before by myself but and it ain't real fun. All right, you ready, bud? All right, I'm gonna set it down right here. Perfect. All right, now that Van and I got the uh, the hood off of it, I gotta get my workbench. Yeah, be nice if it was a little bit higher. Perfect. You know, working on these old tractors is pretty fun, but it's also exhausting. I'm looking at this one, uh, there's still a lot of work to be done. Yeah, I saved just about every old nut and bolt just in case i'm ever gonna need it again i don't know if it's saving much time staying here for 10 minutes trying to find the right one only been working on it for a little bit and already i can tell this is this is a lot more work than i thought it was going to be i think it'll be worth it in the end though I think it's going to look pretty cool. Well, after looking into it for a bit, it looks like there's a lot of paint options. Uh, a lot of manufacturers that make paint that is really close to the original that Ford had on the tractor. So if that's something that you're interested in uh, matching for yourself, I'm going to put that information down in the description so that you can easily copy it. So for what I'm going to be working on today, um, I ended up buying uh, this XO Rust. Um, I heard that's a pretty good paint and it's close enough for what I'm looking for. So we're going to give that a try and hopefully it works out. So this is going to be pretty cool. All right, make sure the tip's all cleaned out good. And yeah, that's a good looking color. You know, and I don't need to be a purist either. You know, a nice restored tractor is a nice restored tractor and I can appreciate that. When I say history, I'm not talking about, you know, the 70 plus years old that it is or the fact that it is old. I'm talking about what happened with this tractor all those years, who used it, what happened, you know, what kind of stories could it tell? If it could tell stories about, you know, bumping into logs and pulling stumps and, you know, every scrape and every dent in this thing, that's a story to be told, you know, of some event that took place over that time probably some pretty amazing things happened. Even the fact that it has these old car tires on it that are completely shot and wore out, 
got a tube inside. You know, what's the story there? What happened to the original tires? So there's one more paint that I end up going with. Um, it's generically just listed as blue. It's also uh, made by XO Rust. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing how this, this works out as well. One more thing too with these projects. Uh, if I'm going to tape off anything, I always use uh, this 3M blue tape. It's, it's easy to peel back off of whatever you're uh, taping. And, and usually you don't get too bad of runs with it. I know that they do make an automotive tape that is specifically designed for uh, metal and such, but this is what we're going to go with today, and, and I'm not looking for perfection. I kind of want to keep the original patina, the, the original, the, the way the tractor looks, so that's more important to me than, than perfect lines on it. So, All right, well, welcome back. It's the next day. Uh, let me show you what I did yesterday. and. Uh, you guys can kind of start to check out what I've been working on, but yeah, beautiful weather. So the paint's dry and great. And uh, we're going to start working on getting the tractor back together for, uh, for this project. I think you guys are going to be absolutely stoked and amazed at, at what I've done here. And uh, this tractor is definitely going to be one of a kind. Um, I can honestly say I searched the internet for quite a while to see if anybody else had ever done this to an eight, uh, to a N series tractor and, from what I could find, it, it didn't exist. So I think, I think she's going to be one of a kind. But check this out. Well, there she is in all her glory. That thing is going to look sweet. You can see on here, I left the original patina that was on the uh, undercoat. So I left that all original, all the scrapes and scratches and everything, and just went right over the top of it. And after a bit of time i'm sure that'll all have its own unique scratches and little chips and things too you know i don't have a lot of gripes about the tractor but this is one of them these bolts are so hard to get it in and out tight little cramped space i'll get this line all attached back up this is the uh this is the wire that goes up for the headlights it's got a few zip ties or cable ties that run through the hood here i don't know how it was originally done but that's how it's been done ever since i've owned it so we'll just continue with that practice i think they kind of ran it up here underneath a little bit i'm gonna need a longer one and we'll get the fuel line hooked all up here and hooked on and you know I run a fuel filter on this and always have I switched to a clear one so I could see what's going on because there's so much debris in this motor even though I've had it cleaned a couple of times but you know there's a lot of theories of uh, thought as far as whether you need a filter or not and honestly we're not going to go into that today we'll save that for a future video but but uh, before I get this out and show it to you guys in the sun and get a sense of it I got to get gas in it and uh, I also wanted to say, you know, when this video is over, you know, what I'd really appreciate is if you'd watch one of uh, one of my other tractor videos. And uh, good golly. It's there, stay on there, little bugger. Uh, watch my, one of my other tractor videos. I'll put one uh, right at the end of this video. Go check it out. And uh, I think you'll enjoy it. God, I love these old gas nozzles. They work so much better than that new crap today that safety push in those things all you do is spill gas all over the place with those they don't work for crap all right now we got some gas uh if you're curious i think the tank holds 10 gallons if i remember correctly and uh you'll go through 10 gallons a lot faster than you can believe all right let's see if she'll fire up there we go 